Hello friends, I think everyone has got the term productivity. Everyone has already know how to calculate productivity. Moving from period 1 to period 2 or shift 1 to shift 2, concentrating on this particular output as well as input, we can claim whether the productivity has, has been improved or not. Now, in this particular lecture, we are just going to focus on one particular comment or the fear which my worker is already having in their mind. What was that fear? This fear is regarding the productivity. As we already defined that productivity is the term in which we are always going to think regarding we have to produce more and more, better and better than yesterday. That means whatever output which I have already generated yesterday Today, the target for me will be definitely going to be increased. Day after or tomorrow, the target will be obviously whatever I already produced in today's shift. Tomorrow, the target will be obviously more. Likewise, day by day, the target for that particular customer will be or target for that particular worker will be definitely going to be improved, definitely going to be increased. Then in that particular case, my worker is always having a fear in his or her mind that increasing productivity will lead to unemployment. And now we are going to comment on this particular statement. I am again going to repeat this particular comment. Workers fear that increase in productivity will lead to unemployment. Now to discuss regarding this particular term, workers fear, basically we are going to think from workers side first. Now, as this particular fear regarding this particular worker's mind that as I am going to increase this particular productivity, I am definitely going to lose my job or lose this particular employment. This particular fear is true. Why? Because suppose for that particular period, if I am having an order of 3000 component or suppose 300 components and if within that particular month, I am having a 30 working days, then per day, I am supposed to manufacture 10 components. Then and then it is possible for me to achieve that particular target of 300 components. But as I am sticking with this particular term of productivity, suppose on the first of that particular month, I already manufactured 10 components. Tomorrow or on second, my target will be more than 10. Therefore, on second, I have to manufacture more than 10 components. Suppose I already manufactured 11 components. Then on third, again, the target for me will be definitely going to be increased than yesterday. Therefore, on third, I am supposed to manufacture more than 11 components. Likewise, day by day, I am competing with myself. What I already manufactured yesterday, the target for me for today will be definitely going to be increased. And therefore, the target for this particular month, which I supposed to manufacture, which is nearly about 300 components, this 300 components can be manufactured on suppose 21st or even 22nd day itself. And therefore, on 22nd, if I have already manufactured this particular 300 components, then obviously the management will fire me and that's why I am losing my job or this particular term productivity lead to unemployment. Now, we are going to think from management side. How this particular term or how this particular comment is false. Workers fear that increasing productivity lead to unemployment that is totally wrong. That is only because of as we are manufacturing more and more better and better than yesterday. No doubt, we are going to complete this particular target of 300 components on 21st or 22nd day itself. Now, my management is having extra 7 to 8 days in his or her hand and therefore, they can utilize this particular 7 to 8 days for getting trained that particular worker on extra or advanced machineries which they already decided to manufacture, already decided to brought within this particular organization. As we are moving from general purpose to the CNC machine, it is required for that operator, that particular worker to get trained on that particular CNC. The worker will be 
वर्कर शुड नो हाउ टू डू प्रोग्रामिंग हाउ टू फिक्स द जॉब हाउ दैट पर्टिकुलर मशीन शुड वर्क और हाउ वी शुड वर्क ऑन दैट पर्टिकुलर मशीन for that it is required for us to provide certain training and such kind of training is possible for us to provide within this particular 7 to 8 days which i am going to get from that particular 22nd to 30 of that particular month as i am always thinking to brought new and new machines i am making that particular worker easier to work on that particular machine that means in other way the skill of that particular worker we are improving or increasing that means here we are not having any intention to fire that particular operator or have leading that particular unemployment for that particular worker but on the contrary we are trying to train that particular worker on the advanced technology which is available right now and therefore whatever fear that worker is having in their mind regarding increasing productivity lead to unemployment that is totally wrong now being as a neutral person we are going to think regarding this particular two perspectives which we are going to get that from worker side and from management side being as a third person we should focus on this particular productivity and we should focus on this particular fear now whatever fear that worker is having in his or her mind that is true from his side but as management is having a positive attitude toward that particular organization because everyone tries to increase or expand their organization try to make certain changes try to make certain improvement within that particular organization they always try to procure more and more or advanced technology within their organization and therefore whatever extra days which that particular management is getting they are utilizing those particular days to get train that particular worker so that those worker can be utilized properly on this particular advanced technology and therefore taking into consideration these two factors or these two you can say perspectives we can claim that whatever fear my worker is having in their mind that was or that is totally wrong regarding productivity that means worker is never going to lose their job on the contrary the workers will be getting trained on the advanced technology and in other words we can say he or she will definitely going to get more skill within that particular manufacturing sector now we are going to focus on this particular you can say the figure which we can see on this particular slide which is called as dynamics of productivity change now what will happen if we are getting more and more or improved productivity basically we are discussing this particular term productivity for two to three lectures and then we come to know the productivity is nothing but it is output to input that means we are always trying to earn more and more from less and less input and as we more and more the productivity or we are improving this particular productivity and as we are improving this particular productivity then we come to know that due to improvement in productivity due to improvement in this particular productivity it is possible for me to get more output now as we are getting more and more output obviously the production cost will be goes on reducing as we are manufacturing 100 components for the same resources when i am going to manufacture 110 components for the same resources obviously the cost per piece will be definitely going to be reduced now as we are reducing that particular cost per piece obviously the profit which we are earning per that particular product or per that particular component will be definitely going to be increased and therefore due to reduction in production cost or product cost we will definitely going to earn more and more profit due to more and more profit it is possible for us to do more and more savings and as our saving goes on increasing it is possible for us to make certain investment or a higher investment in new machineries new plant or new technology due to this particular higher investment in technology new plant or new machineries these machines are again or this particular investment will be lead to get those particular better machines within our organizations as we are procured this particular advanced machine 
we have got this particular better machines again this particular better machines leads to improvement in productivity that means we have completed this particular entire cycle we have started from this particular improvement in productivity and again we are coming towards improvement in productivity due to this particular better machines or advanced machines advanced technology which are possible for us to get due to this particular higher investment through more savings through more profit in other words or in other way we can look towards this particular improvement in productivity as we are going to improve productivity it is possible for us to increase the wages how when we are improving productivity that means we are going to get more and more output for less and less input or for the same input we are going to get more and more output and as we are producing more obviously the target which we already set for that particular month has been already achieved and that's why it is possible for my operator to earn more or to produce more output and due to this particular more output they are eligible for getting those particular incentives and in other words other than that particular wages they are capable of getting more money and therefore in other words we can say there will be increase in wages for that particular worker now as increase in wages due to this particular increase in wages there will be increasing demand for goods and services but that means the purchasing power of that particular worker will be definitely going to be increased and due to this particular increase in purchasing power he is definitely going to buy more and more and therefore there will be increase in demand for goods and services and as there is increase in demand for goods and services there is greater employability or greater employment due to this particular more and more demand due to this particular greater employment it is possible for us to generate more and more or have more and more investment in plants likewise again this particular plants with better machines it is possible for us to improve this particular productivity again due to the reduction in production cost it is possible for me to lower the price of those particular components and due to this particular lower in price of components it is possible for us to increase in demand for goods and services in short if i am going to concentrate on this particular figure then i come to know due to this particular improvement in productivity this again leads to improvement in productivity or this is a continuous chain of productivity change friends this is regarding dynamics of productivity change that means what will be happen or what will be happening due to improvement in productivity if i am going to look towards this particular diagram more precisely then i can also notice that this particular more output better machines more profit more saving all these are nothing but in other words the advantages which i am going to get due to improvement in productivity each and every you can say the term which is mentioned within this particular slide is definitely going to add or they are going to state the advantages which we are going to get due to the productivity and therefore my question for you is list out different advantages of improvement in productivity just think over it